Hey everybody, it's 3 p.m. and it's time for dinner with Nanny Bubby. Say hello to my dear friend Courtney Perna. Hello. Courtney and I used to work together. Let me just tip you up a little bit. Courtney, oh my God, it's a long reach, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> Courtney and I used to work together at Channel 8 mm -hmm. and she is off doing an amazing thing in streaming television. And we are here right now. Actually, we've been... Um, not cooking a segment, we've been taping yes. a segment uh, for her new show. Do you wanna sure. just tell them a little bit about your show? Sure, it is so exciting. And actually, this is the first time I've told anybody in out there in the world. Out there on Facebook. But yes, it is called Brunch with Courtney Perna for many reasons, because brunch is the most important meal of the day, <laughs> and it always will be. But it's not just about food, it's actually about the conversations right. that happen at brunch. I, it could be the bad date you went on last night, it could be something funny with your granddaughter, or it could be, it could be all of that. It could be when you need hype women around you and you're thinking about starting a new career or business online. Or it could be talking about some of the tough stuff like, you know, discrimination that we might face as women or something with, you know, Black Lives Matter or something that, you know, is a little bit tougher to talk about, but we still need to get out there and have those conversations. I just got goosebumps. And it raises your consciousness you collectively go. and to show that women we're not competing with each other anymore. We really are uplifting each other and supporting each other, although that kind of sounds like a bra ad. But you know what I mean? We're uplifting and uplifting and supporting each other. Right, but not just women uplifting women. I think that it is our job as mothers, yes. grandmothers, sisters, grand grandchildren um, to actually uplift everybody. Yes, so women we and have, allies. I we see. have a lot of men who join yes. us here every day. So Frank is here. He's always first one in. Lene yes. is here. So thank you guys for being here. So I'm just going to bring you in on a little bit. I have a great recipe that we're doing for you today. But right now, I actually am doing Roseanne's recipe that she posted in Gather several months ago. So we have a mm -hmm. fabulous Facebook group called Gather with Nanny Bubby. And uh, Roseanne posted this recipe there. I just did it recently, a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, as well. I did it for my son's birthday party. I'm actually in love with this recipe. So and we're just coming to the end. Here is the marinated fontina that we, um, I had marinating for about six hours. And now um, we're just about to finish this. We ran out of time. We hope to be done with the segment. <laughs> before I had to come say hello to all of you. That's right. Hey there, Saeed, thank you for being here. Um, and so um, we are going to finish her television segment. Armando's with, behind the camera yes, right here, her my camera guy. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you guys watch this and then we do have a recipe that we're doing just for you, but we got scrunched on time. So yes. if you don't mind standing by, you can watch us finishing this segment. And if you're ready, tell us where we are in the segment, Armando, and we'll start. I think you, I, you're just gonna say, go ahead and fan it out just because I need your audio okay. to do it because I did it while you were prepping. Okay. And then we can say in the next step. So just I just need your audio saying, go ahead, okay. Courtney, and fan it out. Okay. Right. And maybe get your, cause, um, put your hands down because it was a different shot you yeah. were in it. Okay. She was prepping for the next thing. Yeah, I was trying to get to you guys. <laughs> in three, two. Okay. So, all right, fan it out. Okay. There you go, Courtney. That looks beautiful. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take a mound of grapes. And we're just going to, because you can see the stems in the center, but what you're going to do is... Um, just, make it pretty. Yep, make it pretty. Just take these mound them in so the dark and probably ones. different than the ones we use on the skewers um you know what yeah it, and you just kind of want to turn it so that only the Ooh. uh the grapes show go ahead and put, put that on the edge over here yeah put that on the okay. edge over there that's good right like that and then we're just going to take these beautiful ones because yes. they are so beautiful and just mound it up on the top and you know if you need to take them off because there's a big stem there i would say just go ahead and take them off or if you just need to eat and, one yeah which we've been doing mm -hmm. um and just go ahead and just put it um right over here just mound them up cover the stems and now my darling all you have to do is have yourself a party so yes that's the beautiful it looks a lot end. harder than it really is it does and it's very impressive it was so easy the only thing you need to do is just make sure that you build in the time and you can marinate this overnight mm -hmm. and or let's say i am having a party in a week from now okay. i'm going to take this cheese and i am going to freeze it you can do that you can freeze cheese there you go. Right? All right, so boost your confidence in the kitchen, and you can do that with Nanny Bubby. Check her out on Facebook because she is live all the time doing fabulous recipes. Um, 
Spoiler alert, we're actually live on Facebook right now as we're doing this, so it's really exciting. So thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, so check out Nanny Bubby. She's everybody's Nanny Bubby. At Nanny Bubby on Instagram, at Nanny Bubby on Facebook, Gather with Nanny Bubby Facebook group. And if you want a cooking confidence coaching yes. call, a free call with me to see what and how we could work together, my bio on Instagram, just click, click that link. Schedule now. All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and. Oh, these. by so, all so, means. Okay. And thanks to Roseanne on this. For sure. Thanks, Roseanne. Thanks, Roseanne. Bye, everybody. Sorry about go. that, everybody. I just got a um, telemarketing call. So that's so. the end of my segment. Yep. <laughs> okay. That's the end. So thank you for standing by while we while we finished up that segment. And thanks to Roseanne. This is so for, good, it is, I know. Here, let your mom. So mm -hmm. Courtney's mom is here. Our, mom, you want to come in and get a skewer? Here. Yeah. Come on in, Denise. I'll introduce you to the <laughs> gatherers. Um, Arlene oh, Weisner careful. is here. Oops, careful. Yeah. Don't trip and fall. Yeah, there lights. you go. Okay, there you go. Grab a skewer and say hello to everybody. In Hi, everybody. Just, I'm no, nope, this it. way. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, <laughs> Courtney's mom. There you go. All right, Armando, are you wanting to step in here and grab yourself a skewer? Do you want to show your pretty face? I don't need to show my face, but I will. Yes, you do. Come on. Face. Well, come on. They have to understand. Context. Just walk through. Oh, have just to. walk through. Like Come a cameo. Oh. There's Armando. Yep. Hey, Teresa. So nice to have you here. <laughs> so for those oh, of you that are good. just finding, isn't it fabulous? I'll just set this the right over. The cheese really compliments the grape. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's so good. Hi there. So if you're just joining us, Judy Woods is here. Thank you, Judy. Um, so if you're just joining so you us. Set up. I'm going to go talk to Armando so okay. that we can do this. Okay. Uh, Courtney has a new show that, that is a streaming television show, and she asked me to be her first guest, which I was thrilled to do today, and she wanted to be able to do two segments. And so we only just finished the very first segment, and so we're gonna do the second segment now. So what I'm gonna do is actually get set up for all of you and do the second segment where I'm making a side dish. Um, for all of you to see, it is a rice cauliflower with kale, but in this case, I'm going to use, these are the sweet potato leaves from my garden. So I'm just gonna put these over here and give them a rinse. And so let me just turn you all right here. Of course, you know I don't really need to um, spray them with food grade hydrogen peroxide, but I do need to just give them a rinse because there were lots of dust from last night's wind and um, lots of bugs crawling around when I went out to clip this. So there we go. Okay, so there we go. So what we're gonna do next is I actually have to pull a few things. I have it all sitting right over here. So I think we can actually, let's, if we can, Courtney. I'm gonna clean up for you a little bit. Well, let's just move this right, um, well, okay. maybe. On the other side? Yeah. Okay. Or you can push it, maybe. Got it. Yeah, just push that over, and then we'll push that that way. Okay, there we go. Because we here. need to do a little intro for our, my segment, too. Okay, well, they will love to see that happening. Here is mm -hmm. what I call my sister's burner, right? You can plug it in, yeah. Ooh, yep, there we go. I am going to grab my, get this back into the fridge. Into the fridge. And so, Courtney, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about your show? Um, so, again, it's it's called Brunch with Courtney Perna. So, it is a lot about food, but it is a lot about actually the conversations that happen during brunch. So, I think there's a lot of great... Brunch is more than just a meal, is what I say. It's really a gathering of friends. It's a little getaway. It's your time to feel safe and talk about maybe some of your vulnerabilities. Are you um, wanting to start a new career? Do you have to pivot? Do you need some hype women or some allies in your life to really lift you up? You know, Or do you wanna kind of talk about some of the tough stuff or things that you're maybe scared to ask questions about, but you're really wondering. So you can do that on my show, but of course we're gonna eat. Don't get it twisted. We're gonna have mimosas as well. And uh, we're gonna have all the good conversations, all the good food, and I cannot wait for it. It's gonna be really fun. And we're gonna talk about fun stuff too. Lipsticks, bad dates, even though that's not really fun, but. 
<laughs> but it should be great. So we're actually gonna do a little intro for my segment. We're gonna do a little twofer here, which we thought would be a sneak peek behind the scenes of how the madness of television really goes down because I know that Nanny Bubby is always on top of things and you'll get to see behind the scenes, she's just as much on top of things and fabulous. <laughs> well, I'm back. Talk about a uh, Letizia, uh, not a Letizia, a uh, scene change. Yes. While live, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're making today is a rice bowl made with rice cauliflower. Okay. So let me. Go, I forgot one more bag. So let me grab that. Do you want me to do that? My intro with this first. Yeah. Okay. Let me see where I put that. There it is. Okay. So I'm gonna do a little intro for mine. We're gonna just gonna see how this rolls. Maybe Armando, you might, you might need to get like behind the scenes showing us on Facebook to make it make sense, I don't know. So um, Frank said your new show sounds interesting. I'm gonna have to check it out. Yes, it's gonna probably be hitting um, the streaming sites in January. So That's lots awesome. of editing to do from now on. There you go. Okay. And Mary Letizia Niederer is here. So, so nice to have you, Mary. I love it when everybody pops in, everybody says hello. And so tell me when you're ready to start your show. And All right. We'll start yours. Okay. I think I so have these them. are sweet potato leaves, right? They are. Okay. Ready? I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm just going to wing it. But okay. that's how we roll. Just keep your eye on there uh, just because we want to stay close. Oh, okay. And then I'm just going to talk here. Yeah, Three. Just move a little bit this way. There, there we go. Or that way, I guess. Sorry, I meant, no, sorry. I'll turn us. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right. Three, two. It may look like I just clipped off a branch from my house plant, but this is actually a sweet potato plant, or part of it at least. These are the leaves, and now of course I know you know about sweet potatoes. They are just amazing and glorious. Did you know you can eat the leaves? I didn't know that till of course my favorite cook in the kitchen here, Nanny Bubby, also known as Marla Letizia, but everyone calls you Nanny Bubby. Everybody does. All right, so Nanny Bubby, is teaches confidence in the kitchen. She has helped me become more confident in the kitchen. And you have some really cool recipes. We're actually live on Facebook right now too. So check her out on Facebook, Nanny Bubby. Yes, can I just do what a shameless plug about that? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go. so we have a group of people that follow us every day live at 3 p.m. And we call them the gatherers because most all of them belong to our Facebook group okay. called Gather with Nanny Bubby. And we share recipes in the Facebook group. We encourage each other. We ask questions, where do you find X, Y, Z? Mm -hmm. We share information. They're the best group of people I've ever worked with in my life. Yes. And so I'm just so happy to be here. Well, Maria is here me. as well. Yes. I, right. So like I'm Thanks on your show and me. you're on my show right. and at the same time. <laughs> right, so we keep looking over here. That's when we're on her camera and when we, her cameraman Arnond, Armando, Armando yeah. is here. And then when we're looking over here at you, we are you know, working with you. So we're gonna do kind of a dual happening I've here. I've never done this before. Oh, We're so innovative. Yeah, so like innovative. we've done this all the time, right guys? Like <laughs> they literally have come in, watch, whoops, watch live. They literally have been over to my left and watch me do Channel 8 segments live. Oh, fun, kitchen. yeah. And so they got a sneak peek and didn't have all to right. stream it and watch it live. So look, here's the first thing we're gonna do. We are going, I use two different kinds of rice cauliflower in okay. this recipe. I use the Whole Foods organic rice cauliflower because the way that they rice their cauliflower is much larger. Yeah, I can definitely see the difference. Yes, and then this is the Trader Joe's cauliflower, which really is like really tiny and rice. Much finer, yeah. So I prefer using both of them. It cooks down quite a bit. Okay. Um, so let me turn this on, there we go. I'm gonna turn up the fire, I mean that's, it. and I'm using roasted garlic olive oil from Temecula olive oil. Yes. All the gatherers all know about Temecula olive oil and if you over here in Courtney mm -hmm. land <laughs> don't know about the Temecula olive oil then for sure check them out. They have a Facebook page. We're going to put in about a tablespoon of the roasted garlic. All right now I have a beginner question. Yes. What kind of pan is this? Oh this is a La Crusade. Okay. Um, so and how do you say it? it? it it's La Crusade but I say La Crusade. I say La Crusade. It, La Crusette, <laughs> uh, because I studied Spanish, not French, and mm -hmm. so my French is not great. Um, I'm also going to finish with this hickory smoked olive oil, okay. uh, and and just I'm going to just add just a little bit to it, just right now, because that really layers the flavor. You've okay. got the garlic, uh, you've got the hickory smoked. You've just really got a lot. So let me open this up. 
Before you do that, can, do you th can you get off sticks and do like a behind the scenes to show that we're on here? Oh, okay, that's great. Well, I was just saying you could actually see us on the camera, like an over the shoulder type of thing. But do a cutaway. Yeah. You can do a cutaway. Just before we put all the stuff in here. You can do a cutaway for that, right? Before we put this. Yeah, so you can go behind just for a little bit. Just so you can see us and then before she puts stuff in here so it looks like it's the same. Okay. <laughs> Ready? So guys, I'm gonna cut this. Right. And I'm just waiting for the cameraman to count. Just waiting down. on Armando. So my sister is here, Heather Glessman, say hello. And Felicia is here. Hey Felicia, so nice. Yes, you love the Temecula olive oil. So do That's, I. Everybody loves it. Smell right, right now of the hickory. Yeah, and you gotta you gotta move fast. Because so I was thinking, the oil you, you can actually burning. get the screen. I know. Oh, you want to get this? Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, hey, Tom Matija's here. Hello, Tom. Oh, hey. Okay. Is he upstairs right now? Yeah. Tom, are you upstairs? <laughs> Hello. He's upstairs. This is what you're having for dinner? Uh, right, well, this is your side dish because I have a spatchcock chicken outside the refrigerator that I did not have time to pull in, but I will bring it in. Most um, everyone, or not most everyone, but anyone who is Jewish tonight is celebrating Yom Kippur at sundown. Mm -hmm. So I'm making a traditional uh, chicken dinner for, uh, to open up the holiday. Nice. So, are you ready? We are ready. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for Armando to camera back. I just want to get the judges so it's like makes sense yes. to the people at home so they can be like hey we really are on Facebook yeah. live that's why we're talking to two cameras. And if you don't hurry up this oil's gonna burn. And we'll just <laughs> blame Armando. It's all his fault. Okay. <laughs> yes do you it. smell it. Okay ready? Okay. In three, two. So we're gonna start with the larger cauliflower. Okay. Is that so it has more time to cook? Yeah. We'll just start softening it before we put in the, um, the smaller rice and maybe only use a half a bag. Okay. We are big in this house on the side dishes, the vegetables, and, and everything else. So it looks like a lot of food, but honestly, uh, tomorrow we'll eat it for lunch, maybe with the leftover chicken on top, mm. although tomorrow is a fasting day. So the people in the house that don't fast will um, enjoy it. Will enjoy it. Okay. Or I'll, I'll eat it for break the fast. Yeah. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to take, yep, sorry about that, everybody. We're going to take the sweet potato leaves and we are going to, um, hey, Tom, if you're, um, if you're watching, Sandy Wolf is calling and I have a feeling your car is ready. So <laughs> can husband. you call her back, please? Because I think your car is ready. And she's probably leaving a message and expecting me to tell you and I'm not going to be off for about an hour. So how do you like that, everybody? There you go. That's yeah. how we get stuff done. Yeah. So Tom, if you hear me, give me a thumbs up or something. Otherwise, I'm going to send Denise. Tommy, can you hear me? I'm going to send Denise me? up the stairs to go tell you that maybe we lost a viewer, so maybe that was Tom getting off to call her back. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're using sweet potato leaves. Can you use other kinds of greens? Well, so let me tell you about the sweet potato leaves. This is a substitute for spinach. This okay. recipe initially called for kale. Okay. So I did um, buy this organic kale today. Usually I buy it in stocks, but I was at Trader Joe's, and so I missed the actual stock. Okay. So I bought it like this, but when I got outside with you, yeah. I realized that actually we have so many sweet potato leaves that it's actually um, a better thing to do. We can actually put in some kale Can I taste well. it? Yeah, try it. Okay. It, it has... It, it, it's sweeter, believe it or not, okay. than spinach, but it's going to have a raw spinach flavor as well. Can you manage that for the camera? Yeah, I can. Because I actually might... really like spinach. Okay. Go ahead. That's pretty good. Is it? And I can imagine that once you get the flavors in there with the right with the olive oil. Yes. Okay. And that's really All right. Okay. So this good. is cut. We're gonna hold There's a little inside. bitterness, but like that, that cup probably cooks down, right? Right, but once we cook it, the bitterness will actually open up. But I didn't get the bitterness till the very like end under. Okay, you're done you with this. You can throw that away. <laughs> All right, so let's give this a stir. It's so funny, I thought that I didn't like vegetables for such a long time until what? I started really learning how to make them. Right. Well, I can't tell you why because my mom's over there. <laughs> and the reason is why is because we were a very busy family household, so what, what we did was what mom throw veggies in the 
microwave oh. and go. And so I thought that I hated veggies, but that's what we could do when I'm doing dance and gymnastics and softball and right. my sister's in soccer and baseball. And, right. You know, that's what we did. And so I thought I didn't like them, but then I started cooking them properly, realizing that I really love them. There is, there's so much flavor in, in vegetables and who ever thought I mean, I think the most magical thing that has ever... Oh, Noah's here. Hi, Noah. Happy New Year to you. I am making a cauliflower rice bowl with um, uh, kale, sun-dried tomatoes, feta cheese, and we are doing Courtney's show. So we're doing two shows right here. Courtney has a big show on streaming networks, and she's invited me to be her first guest but we ran over, so we're doing the second show with all of you, because of course you know I would not not be here for all of you as well. So, so Very this committed is, this one. I am, I am. And this is really eating up a lot of olive oil. It could I can be tell. because I was just a little bit, um, had the heat a little bit too high. Well, but we're blaming that on Armando, remember? Oh, oh his no, I don't want to make poor Armando feel too bad. Yeah, we need him to make us look good. Okay, all right. So how long did you cook the the bigger cauliflower pieces? Well, I mean, just since we've been standing here, right? Minutes. So what Still was minutes. that, five or ten minutes or so? I don't know how long it's gone now. This also, this cauliflower, which is the Trader Joe's cauliflower, is really tiny, mm -hmm. minced cauliflower. It's just so fantastic. Now, on top of this rice, you know, vegetable dish, mm -hmm. you put any cooked protein of your choice. So tonight... I am actually doing a spatchcock chicken um, along with this dish. Mm -hmm. And I will literally serve either pieces of chicken next to it. But let's say I wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say we were just looking for a protein to put on top. I was looking around Trader Joe's to think about what I could put on top of this. If I were at Whole Foods, I might have bought sushi okay. and put sushi on top of this. Interesting. Right? Or. Uh, because I was at Trader's, I found this, which I love. Oh. It's called Everything But the Bagel, and it's smoked seasoned salmon, so it's lox, but it's seasoned with like an everything bagel. Yummy. And I thought putting this on top when we finish would be absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. So one of our viewers, Frank, said, question, um, I don't have a garden and grow sweet potato greens. Where will I find them? I'm not sure you will, but here's how you could get them. If you buy a sweet potato, just like when we were kids, <laughs> right? You put toothpicks in that sweet potato, put it on top of a jar, let it root, and then as we all know, the sweet potato is gonna grow leaves, and Frank, you will have sweet potato leaves right in your own kitchen. And as we all remember, those sweet potato leaves grew like all over the, all over the kitchen. Yes. So, okay. I am going, you can talk just a minute to everybody. Okay. I've got to grab some other olive oil. Uh oh, she's this. leaving me here with this. Yeah, this is just sucking. This is so in. fantastic. So obviously you guys know that she's back. amazing. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> I don't have to say anything. But she actually made me a cookbook when I got engaged. Oh, I did. It was so nice of you to put together some of the easy recipes that I could do, my fiance could do with me, yes. that you know we wouldn't, we'd have the confidence to do, right. maybe if I was entertaining as well. So thank you so much for that. I do use it all the time, and you are just so sweet, and I appreciate it. And you are, I, I love doing that for you. I love being on the air with her because every once, I would come every week, and I would surprise her with something. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, she got engaged when I was working with her, so we made a big deal about that on the air and, yeah. and connected that to the cooking. Um, and so do you want to talk a little bit about our cooking confidence coaching um, classes? Sure. Okay, what do you want to know? Well, I will set it up like a TV segment, and I will say something fabulous. Let's oh, I see. just want to say, we're not going to cut these. We're not going to cut the sweet potato oh. leaves, because like spinach, it wilts very, very quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, put them, just sprinkle them in. I'm going to cut this bag of kale, and, and I think, honestly, just, you know, I think I would have put this in after the kale. Okay. Because it is going to wilt. So don't do as I do. Do as I say. Put <laughs> so the kale, kale in. I'm going to pick these out. Put the kale in first because <laughs> a kale, uh, and what's great about kale is that it holds its its substance. Yeah. So a lot of times it keeps spinach from wilting too much. Nice. So it probably will keep this, um, and this is nice. So you cut up. Like, nice yeah. and perky. I kind of like that. It's very, very good. 
So let's talk a little bit about your confidence because you are so confident here on Facebook. You are so confident. You see me in the kitchen whenever I've been with you doing shooting TV segments. Where does that come from? Well, cooking is a practice. Mm -hmm. Right, cooking is not something you wake up and do great. It's like yoga, mm -hmm. and I think that for some reason we lost touch with the idea that cooking is something that we learn, something that we share with each other, something that we teach down through the generations. Mm -hmm. That girlfriends or, or boyfriends, yes. you know, men that you that barbecue together. Yes, it's it's a um, it's a partnership. And so my confidence really came from my visual teachers mm -hmm. who were actually Ina Garden and Giada. And the Food Network. Yeah, from the Food Network, <laughs> exactly. And I, I will tell you, and, and my viewers, my gatherers will tell you, I've literally been on the air with, excuse me, with all of them mm -hmm. and said, you know what, I was going to do X. But I don't like the way that sounds or feels. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wind that back here. And I think it would be better off if, and I've changed exactly mm -hmm. because I think the two things you need to do to cook are use your intuition, mm -hmm. right? And the other thing is to, well, uh, just make confident decisions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And honestly, cooking builds your confidence. Yeah. So what I always say is, is that let's say you're going out on a big job interview tomorrow. Cook the night before because you will use your intuition mm -hmm. and you will you will begin to trust yourself. And really, honestly, isn't that what confidence is all about? Right. It's about trusting yourself. So if you want to grow your confidence, if you want to grow your ability, let's say you've been online dating for a while and you've connected with somebody and you're finally meeting them for the first time, Listen, cook the night before. Yes. Cook the afternoon before because what that will do is it will it will actually grow your confidence. Yes. So and, and you in know our what course, to do. Yes. yes, and in our course we go through that. So I let me move these bottles so that everybody in um, Facebook land here can see, you know, how great this looks. I'm just you know, in this world today you're both cameraman, talent, yes. cook and bottle washer. And no you don't have your own Armando here. Yeah, I do not. <laughs> I do not. Um, but so look how beautiful this is. Yes, now is. it looks down here like maybe I have burned it, but honestly, this is we're just going to deglaze this just a little bit with a little extra olive oil. I've and that's confidence. I didn't burn it. It's deglazing. Right. Well, <laughs> you know what? More flavor. Truly, the mm. most flavor is in the brown bits, oh. and those brown bits come from when it is right in the um, in the pan. So you can see the olive oil. You could deglaze this with a little bit of wine. You could deglaze this with a little bit of uh, vinegar. I deglazed it with the olive oil. Okay, so now we're going to add, um, we are going to add the sun-dried tomatoes. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Are those marinated in anything? Or are they they are not. These are dry, but uh, this is why I love them. They're already julienne cut. Now, if you wanted to hydrate them just a little bit more, mm -hmm. what you can do is just boil some water, okay. pour boiling water over them in a cup, yeah. let them sit for 90 seconds, 60 seconds, and then put them in. But I find that the heat actually hydrates them. Yeah, because that the makes steam. it less potent, because yeah. right now they're really potent as far as the flavor yes. and the bite that you get. Right. So we're gonna put in these um, and taste these. Not only are they, whoop, oh, not only are they cooked the bag. <laughs> not only are they julienne, but then. Oh, <laughs> you messed around. I did. Mm. Aren't they delicious? So good. They've got some salt to it. Mm. And remember, everything you cook is fat, uh, heat, mm -hmm. Acid. Acid. And salt. And salt. See, Thank I learned you. something. I learned something. I, I use that a lot in the last I got to do that again for the just, cutaway. Ready? Yeah. Oh. See, I learned something. Okay. I learned something. There you go. I, I'm glad <laughs> that she learned something. I need to learn something, too, because I said it perfectly about 30 minutes ago, didn't I? <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> yeah. All afternoon I've been saying it. So you can see. Now, I have forgotten one thing because this is what ties this whole thing together. You forgot something? I did forget oh, okay. something, so um, I just didn't pull it out, but I remembered that I didn't pull it out, which is great. And that's my fault because we went over and she wanted, she's like, Courtney, I need time to prep, so I have everything I need right here. And uh, we ran behind doing the segment for my show, so 
you guys know she's usually right on top of things, has everything yes. she needs. Yes. So she will bring back the magic ingredient that uh, so I didn't actually, allow her time to prep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. and sometimes, so sometimes when I step away, I have headsets on so I can run in the pantry and I can still be talking oh, to them with, but you you know, don't. with the AirPods mm. on, but today I don't have them. Yeah. Um, so, okay, this is pesto, everybody. Mm. There we go. Can you see that label? It's Genova pesto. It is uh, just from Trader Joe's. We had a lot of Trader Joe's stuff here. And you know, I really don't mind. Listen, I don't have a food sponsor. Yeah. Um, occasionally, Wisconsin Cheese comes in and sponsors. Okay. Um, and I'm happy to, and I only work with their organic brands at Wisconsin Cheese. But I, I, people just want to know sometimes, where do you get that? Yeah. And I, you know, I don't want to not be able to tell you just because they're not sponsoring me. And I think that is the problem sometimes we find with the networks, the food networks, is that they don't allow their cooks to really tell you where to find this stuff. Right. And what it I has love, to be like a generic. Yeah, it has to be, hey, Dana, so nice to see you. Wow, happy new year to you. So, okay, I'm going to put in two scoops, one, Two. Love so let me so just good. tip you over and let you see that. Those, there's the pesto, and I'm going to literally just mix that in. It's so funny because when I see the dishes that you make, they look so complex and they look so difficult, and it, it is intimidating sometimes. It is. But you really look at this and you think, I can do that. Like, yes. I can put two scoops of pesto in there. You can. And you know what's really cool? is that as you get down to it and you start doing this, what you'll find is you'll say, you know what, this is all packaged and I bought the pesto, mm -hmm. but pesto is something everybody can make. Yeah, it's just basil, olive it oil, It really and is, and, and so what, right? you, what you'll say to yourself, there's a stem, is you know what, the next time I make this dish, I'm going to literally, hey Lindsay, nice to see you, um, I'm going to make my own pesto to put in this dish and it's going to be fantastic. So if you're just joining us, Courtney Perna is here. She has a fabulous new show that is streaming on uh, all yes, streaming, streaming networks, networks. <laughs> and she invited me to be her first on guest. Demand. We did the very first segment. Um, but it backed into, we were supposed to do two segments, mm -hmm. um, but it backed into our show here. And so we quickly finished it up and <laughs> we are doing the second segment in two, uh, with two cameras. We're doing it for you here on Facebook. And when we look this way, we're doing it for Courtney and her camera as That's well. That's right. So here's some things you can add. Okay. Now let's go into your intuition here right. and your confidence. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. I say we can add olives. What do you think? I think you could add pine nuts because aren't pine nuts in the basil? They are. Because, okay, so that would probably go well. Okay, or pistachio nuts. Ooh, all right. Yeah, okay. you like that? Something a little crunchy. What else? Um, I was going to say capers, but I think it might be too salty with the t tomatoes or no? No, I don't think so because okay. I think it's a hydrate. I mean, I think maybe mm. it could be a little salty. but Just a few. Little yeah, capers. Yeah, just a few and you could fry the capers. Oh, that's a good idea. Which actually makes them crunchy. You'll have to show me how to do that. Yeah, well, you just put them in a pan and, you know, let them get crunchy. Okay. Um, so, see, there's some variations. Or can I just tell you, if you want to put capers in here, pull out the sun-dried tomatoes. Mm. Or use the sun-dried tomatoes that are in oil, which are less... Yes, than the, the dry. they're more hydrated, yes, so they're, they're not more, as potent. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we could put spinach in here, you could put kale, you could put chard. Mm -hmm. We put in the sweet potato leaves for those of you who um, didn't. Here's the rest of them. Yep, there's the sweet potato <laughs> leaves. If you don't have sweet potato leaves, you can do what Stop. we suggested. Get a sweet potato, put it in a jar with toothpicks, let the roots come, let the, the limbs grow, and all is good. So there we go. And happy. This smells incredible. Yes, yes, uh. absolutely it does. So let's try this. Let's turn this off. Okay. So this is, uh, it says add any protein you want. So if you had leftover meat, leftover hamburger, if you had um, already, it just says add any cooked protein. Mm -hmm. So whatever you have cooked. I'm going to be doing a spatchcock chicken tonight. And when that's cooked, I can put pieces of the chicken in it or we can have large pieces like a breast or a thigh right. and then eat this as our side dish. Before you do that, can we do cutaways of you stirring and um, yeah. we can get the TV in the back, or the TV, the camera in yes. the background? Yes. All right, Armando, that's your cue. And then we can get a little bit of the salmon too on, on a, over the shoulder. Okay, so we're, as you just This is the producer Courtney yes. talking now <laughs> because we have to like get serious about, can you do it like so we can see it on here? 
and then because yeah we're definitely chatting so with for the those piece. of you who did know in our first segment we yes. did the rosemary skewers Can I eat this? yes no. go ahead I'm, well, I'm I will I'm gonna join here. you yeah I'm gonna join so you. it's what kind of grapes just green grapes green grapes and then mm -hmm. marinated Fontana cheese mm -hmm. on a rosemary skewer Mm. Can you taste the rosemary that got onto the um, grape? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is so good. Mm. I know. I just want to keep eating. I love the lemon. I, like touch it. You don't mm -hmm. think lemon and cheese go well together, but... Acid. Uh, acid. Acid. Acid changes everything. And if you don't have enough in whatever you're making, mm -hmm. it's a problem. I wish I could share this with you, but you know... Uh, Rosemary, or not Rosemary, Roseanne uh, posted this in Gather with Andy Bubby. Yep. I posted it last week. Um, there's so many variations you can do. I yeah. added, for my son's birthday, I added um, dark cherries uh, for the uh, skewers uh, on each side of the grape. So, okay. you know, you can make different variations. So. Let's get you stirring on, okay. on this camera, too, as well. Armando was on this side. Okay. Just for continuity. you got to have continuity so it looks like we're not stopping and editing and <laughs> shutting down like we are. All righty. And you can talk to me. Right. Yeah, so well, just, I was what were we talking about? We're talking about adding cake right. butters. And I was just going to say to all of them, and move a little closer to me, if you will, just so they can yeah. see you. There you go. Um, I was going to say to everybody, all our gatherers out there, is that they are used to um, seeing a live segment, not a tape segment. So Courtney's show is taped, mm -hmm. so they're going to edit all of these tight shots. And so that's why we're stopping down. Yep. I love the way the sweet potato actually hung in there. Yes, it did. So there we go. Okay. Sure. Everything you know, but the bagel salmon bag? Yep. So should we do that? This sure. is off now. It's just cooled down a little bit. I'm dying to know what this tastes like. So let's see how this goes. Now we're going to sprinkle a little bit of feta cheese in here. Okay. After after the salmon? Yeah, well, you know, you know maybe a little bit. That's a good question. <laughs> so that's a good question. She's using her intuition, and I really mm -hmm. like that. So here we go. There. So you can see it's called everything but the bagel salmon, which means that this is seasoned with the and everything bagel seasoning. So let me see if I can just kind of see where Peel we can a little yeah piece. where we can pinch it. Where there we go. I think I see it. Oh. So let's do this just because everybody I'm sure is curious how this tastes. So here's a piece for you. Okay. Now let me grab a piece for me, and I'll eat a piece for all of you. Mm. What do you think? How the salmon's it? really nice, and so you get the salmon first, but then that seasoning hits you, and so you get a little kick afterwards, and that, that's mm. really yummy. It's really, really good. That is really good. So what I would do with this, do you want me to go ahead? Are sure. you guys getting this? Are we good, Armando? Yep. Okay. Do we have to do a cutaway, or do I need to get back Yeah, maybe to do a close-up of her finger, like grabbing this, so that we can have an edit. We have to think about edit points, because if we go from like, a wide shot and then we cut to a wide shot it looks really weird because your eye goes wait a minute they were just on a different way they were in a different position so now Armando will actually start on a close-up of this salmon super close up and he'll get the video of her peeling it off and then putting it into so that's our cutaway it's called and so I want to say hello to Rick Manning who has just joined us hey Rick how are you so nice to see you here i Rick Manning it, is that what is that my, my director's name is Rich, Rick Manning well, it very well could be. Yeah, he's got a green be. screen, so who knows? Yeah, well, it could be him. Yeah. Nice so go ahead to and see put you. that down, and then no, no, put that back down here, and then Armando will get a close up of that, and we'll okay. just. This is where you can write your manicure off on your taxes, because now we're getting a close up of your fingers. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. What am I doing? Move your hand away. <laughs> Move your hand away. Yeah. There you go. And he's got the close up, and then you'll just reach it. Okay, and then go ahead. There you go. You can go out the back door if you want, Denise. Okay. You're just gonna rip it up like that because it's all, you said it's already locked, right? Is that what you said? Uh, locked. Well, it's uh, did I call it locks instead of smoked salmon? I don't know. You said yeah. it, you said something about it being locks. And I was um, like, well, that sounds fancy. Yeah, that's a Jewish. Uh, uh, well, it's I lo bagels and locks, right? Right, right. So I instead of calling this smoked salmon, I called it locks because. Good. I would never know to call this smoked salmon. It's something, <laughs> something I learned um, later in life. I thought, why do they call it smoked salmon? Well, that's what it is. 
So you're just kind of, you're kind of like rolling it up. Yeah. Is that yeah. just like little, little right. nuggets? Yeah, making it look like kind of sushi in a bowl. Oh, gotcha. Okay. There we go. Just doing that. And obviously you can eat this raw. Well, it's not raw. It's oh, smoked. Oh, it's smoked. Yeah. Duh. Duh. It's lox. Loxed. It, it, is that a thing? It, it is, is that a past, I guess. Past tense of locks is locked. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but We're so, not confident on that part, but we're confident certainly in what we're cooking here. Yes, and a, a great way to grow your own personal confidence is to cook. So if you've got a job interview, if you have a meeting with your boss and you're nervous about it, literally cook the night before. Mm -hmm. It will grow your intuition and it will grow your confidence. So, well, like you said, you can't really think of anything else but what you're chopping up right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't think about the past or the future or whatever. Exactly. You're really just in the moment. And it's so hard nowadays, I think, to be in the moment. It is. You know, uh, as I said, if you're living in the past and, you know, reliving things in the past, mm -hmm. well, then it causes depression. And if you're just thinking about the future, that can give you anxiety. Mm -hmm. The only way to stop all that nonsense in your head is actually come to the present moment and there's nothing like cooking to bring you to the present moment. And mm -hmm. that's why cooking is such a great confidence builder. So I feel like I want to write a book called Grow Your Confidence you should. by Cooking. You should. You okay. heard it here first, folks. Yes. And I'm very confident about eating. That's for sure. Uh, well, there's that. <laughs> I think we are all confident. Well, I think, honestly, we're not confident about eating. Oh, it is, Rick. Yeah. What up? So Rick is actually the director of my new show. Honest. When we're in studio. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that awesome? Yes. That, and I, is it the Rick Manning I know? Because I knew a Rick yeah, Manning. Yeah, probably. Girl. Well, from, like, is he old enough for me to yeah. have? Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Hey, Rick. How are you? I know you saw Tom the other day, too. So, so remember, so, Rick, when I said I had to go to a shoot? It was with Nanny Bubby. What she doesn't know me is Nanny Bubby. It's with Marla Letizia. No, he doesn't know me by Marla Letizia. It's with this lady. He knows me as Marla Renee, but he actually does know <laughs> me as uh, Marla Letizia. But I was Marla Renee uh, first. I still am Marla Renee because that is my middle name. So Yay. okay, all right, Rick. So good to see Thanks. you, Rick. Did you get all the lights hung in the studio when I left to come here? He was still hanging lights in the studio. So thank you so much. Oh I would love to 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 come see Rick and you know come, you to, the to, come to the studio. Absolutely, yeah. he's been in the business for a really, really, really he's long. Time. Awesome. Okay. All right. Well, let me just tilt you down because you know, Rick, I am my own cameraman here. Yeah. And all of you too. So we're just going to now just take a little bit of feta cheese Yum. and sprinkle it on top and I we can um, I love Ina Garden for a lot of reasons but she says the cutest thing at the end of making a recipe oh and by the way these are chive flowers which are perfectly okay. edible wait can you hold that for Armando to see it yep and then just gonna hold it there mm -hmm. this is the behind the scenes stuff so it's like oh we get the cutaway chive flowers go ahead and you can keep in explaining okay putting the chive so flowers cute. just you know they're edible completely do they um, taste like chives? They do, they do. You want to taste them? Sure. Oh my God. Like chives, I'm, the onion. I'm afraid like if she tries this stuff. Yummy. Um, gotta run. Best of luck mm. on your new show oh, thank to you. Courtney. And Ooh, uh, happy that does new have the bite, like yeah. a chive. Happy New Year to you, Arlene. Um, yeah. That's like, yeah. All of a sudden it just kicks you right yeah. in the face. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> anyway, if you want to serve it, you oh, can serve it beautiful. like that. And if a few petals drop off, it looks beautiful. Okay, so let me just tell you. What Ina Garden always says, okay. she always says, ladies and gentlemen, start your forks, or in this case, your spoon. Your spoon. So only one bite, meaning you can't, you can't put your spoon Because you can't double dip. No, no double dip. Because I have okay. to serve this for dinner, right? Okay, ready, everybody? Yep, Rick Manning, Channel 13. That's right, back in the day, right? He was our film editor back yeah. then. Love that. I gotta him. get a tomato in there. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. It's so good. So good. First I smelled the lemon mm -hmm. from the olive oil, mm -hmm. and then you get the rice and you get the like the fattiness from the olive oil, but I got the aroma of the lemon first. Right, but mm. let me just tell you something. We forgot to finish it with the hickory smoked olive oil. Mm. So I am going to drizzle on the hickory smoked olive oil, and then we'll start our spoons again. Not okay. these spoons, new spoons. New spoons. New spoons. Hickory smoked olive oil. So this is going to give it a very hickory smoked flavor. flavor. Okay, be right back. Yeah. Well, I just like this because now I get to eat it twice. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Okay, ladies Wait, and you gentlemen. Need, are you a close? You're good. Armando's good. Cheers. Start your spoons. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Let me get it some feta in there this time. Oh my gosh, it's bigger than my mouth. You can do it. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Taste it different? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I get lemon smell, then you get the olive oil, you get that hickory smell, and that tomato comes in and just like kicks you up a little bit. Oh. And then the sweetness a little bit at the end with like maybe the cheese, oh, the feta. The yeah. Feta. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Very good. You guys, Nanny Bobby, make sure you check her out on Facebook. She can help you grow your confidence in the kitchen. You she can, can join us every day at 3 p.m.? Every single day? Every single day. Well, Monday through Friday. Okay. Every single, hey, Randy Marvin. Nice to see you. Haven't been here in a little while, so nice to see you. <laughs> yes, every day. I know these poor people. I call them out. They're like, you haven't been here in a while. Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have what you have been? you been eating? But I sure love it when you do come back and do join us. Um, you guys are killing me. He says, I'm so hungry now. Well, that's good. Yes. Judy Wood said, love that. You are both great. Thank you so much. Um, Lynn Donner is here. Hey, Lynn. Nice to see you. So I just want to say that uh, at Nanny Bubby, mm -hmm. um, uh, Facebook page, every day, 3 p.m. It's time for dinner with Nanny Bubby. Yeah. At Instagram, at Nanny Bubby, okay. you can um, download the Happy Fridge, uh, which is a whole uh, packet put together about what to put in your fridge, what not to have in your fridge, the expiration dates that you need, um, and the Happy Spice Cabinet, which is a history of spices and what spices you are need. Are those digital cabinet. books? They are digital books. Love you can that. find them on Instagram, uh, link in my bio. Okay. You can find Happy Spice Cabinet, Happy Fridge, and you can book a free 30-minute confidence coaching uh, discovery call with me to see if you have interest in doing that and um, getting better at what you do, growing your confidence. This. And remember that you just don't get confident in the kitchen. You can grow your confidence by becoming confident mm -hmm. in your cooking and that will change your life, I promise you. So with that, well, this is changing my life because this is so really, good. really good. And I love vegetables now. <laughs> so one thing that we've got to say to everybody mm -hmm. last time, which we say every day here on Facebook with all of our gathers, look, everybody's giving us hearts and thumbs up and uh, go Raiders, Randy says, yeah, that was one <laughs> heck of a game, right? So on the count of three, we always say um, spread love like butter. Just like this. Yep, spread, spread love like butter. butter. So on the count of three, okay. one, two, Which camera are we looking three, at? Well, you look there, that one? and I'll look here. Well, that would look weird. Oh. <laughs> we'll do okay. it twice. Okay. okay, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Go out and spread, spread love like, like butter. butter. <laughs> oh, that was sexy. That was better than the massage that you did earlier. All okay. right. And now to them. Yes. On the count of three. Go out and spread love, love like, like butter. butter. Bye, everybody. Thank you for being here. To all of you, I wish you an easy fast that are fasting for Yom Kippur, and I'll have you in my thoughts with gratitude for the fact that you've joined me here every day for, believe it or not, in two weeks, it'll be a year. Really? It'll be a year. Wow. I'm exhausted. Look at you doing big girl stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you.